Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be revamping this Goodwill find. I actually purchased this sometime last year and it's just been sitting in my closet forever. And, well not forever, a year. But I'll often buy things with the intention of DIYing them and then it'll just sit in the closet forever until I get some inspiration. But I did get some inspiration the other day um, with my walkthrough from the at-home store. Um, if you haven't checked it out, make sure that you do. But one of the things that I kind of really liked um, was this shiny black candelabra. It was like $40, um, but it seemed very substantial and I really liked it. It had, basically, it was just a candelabra. It had some black um, prisms hanging down from it. So I thought we would um, mimic that idea with this Goodwill find. Now this I did purchase for $3.93. Um, so hopefully I can get the idea, <laughs> the essence of that at-home candelabra with my Goodwill find for a whole lot less than $40. So what I thought I would do, because clearly this is Christmas, is I'm going to obviously paint it black. So I'm just going to spray paint it. I usually don't go to the effort of like sanding it down before spray painting it. Way too much effort for me. We're just going to give it a spray, see what happens. I'm going to have to clean out these little cups a little bit, though it does have a lot of dried wax in them. And I had first thought I was going to remove all of this um, fake foliage, but I'm just going to leave it in. We'll spray paint it black. I'm going to spray paint it with a matte black, and hopefully that'll contrast a little bit with the shiny black that I plan to paint the candelabra itself. And then it's got these sort of um, holly berries in here, which I'm going to I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of. I'll probably leave them in there, but I'm going to add these roses, um, black and purple, kind of like we did with our other flower arrangement we did last year. I'm kind of mix that in here to give it some body because it's a little sparse up top, and then we'll see. And then we'll top it off with some candles. I'm not sure um, which candles I'm going to do. Originally, my plan was to make it like a bloody candelabra, like these... Um, DIY candlesticks that we did last year too. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. But these are just going to look a little too chunky, I think, for the little candelabra. So some of the other options we have. Um, plus, oh, by the way, I don't want to do blood anymore. I think I've done enough of it. You know, I kind of had a, a vampire theme trying to go on in my dining room. So I did a lot of like bloody candles and um, the red beads to sort of Give the essence of blood and so forth but let's move on from that try something new so anyway i think a regular taper candle might be a bit much um, but these are all dollar store candles um, then there's the smaller taper candle which might work a little bit i'm not sure um, it's a little still a little bit too big then they have these little emergency candles which might be okay um, it'll give it some height, so I'm going to contemplate that. The thing I don't like is the brightness of the LED bulb. It doesn't flicker or have any ambiance like the larger um, candles. Or, of course, we can just use the little um, tea light candle, which was my first thought, but now that I'm actually looking at it in there, it looks a little skimpy too. So, I don't know, maybe we'll find a way to revamp these little ones um, so they're not quite so bright. Or maybe I'll try and find an alternate. But that's going to be a few days away because I still have to paint this thing. I'm going to order some of the chandelier prisms from Amazon. And we'll take it from there. But for now, let's go ahead and get this thing outside and try and get it painted. <laughs>
do I love black spray paint? It can just do wonders, can't it? It turned that ugly old Christmas decoration into this fabulous black um, Halloween decor candelabra. You know, it, I used the spray paint I had on hand. It couldn't be easier. Um, and if you don't have spray paint, you know, you can pick it up at Walmart or Home Depot or what for like a dollar a can. I used the flat black on the um, holly flower sort of arrangement and then the glossy black on the candlestick and I think they both look fantastic. I did three coats. Um, you just do a light coat, wait 20 minutes, reapply, 20 minutes, reapply. That way you're not left with a sticky mess. But I think, you know, the candlestick by itself looks pretty awesome. Um, but we're going to go ahead and assemble it like it was with the um, flower stuff. But before we do that, I ordered us on Amazon our um, candelabra prisms. And they came today. <laughs> For a few bucks more, if you have Prime, you can get next day delivery, which I did. So we can do this together today. Um, but I think these overall were... Um, twelve dollars, I want to say, and it comes basically with a bunch of little dangly prisms to jazz up our little candlestick can candelabra. So it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So twelve of these. They have them in so many different designs, but I picked just the teardrop design with a little extra embellishment at the top, a little octagonal, I think it was. I think that's an octagonal, or maybe it's a, it's an octagonal. Anyway, doesn't matter. A little bead on top, a little teardrop on the bottom. I think that's going to look neat. Um, but there were other configurations and other colors because I was a little conflicted if I should go with the black or not. My inspiration was black, so I ended up doing that. I thought it would look cool. Um, if I wanted to use it for non-Halloween purposes as well. But I almost went with purple. As you can see, I have a little purple tablecloth here um, today, and I thought we would um, cannibalize our flower arrangement that we did in the skull, maybe take some of these purple flowers and mix in here just to see what that would look like. But getting back to our purchase here, they also came with a bunch of extra of the little black beads. So um, and a bunch of these little rings. So if we wanted to, we could make these dangle down even further um, or just make little single beads to do somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But these are just like little key ring um, wire pieces. So let's go ahead and throw one on and see what it looks like. Should just wrap right around there. That's... There we go. And now we have one little dangly bit. Let's do a little higher one there and see what it looks like next door. And I'm just gonna do the same thing right here. Put this on. Right. Twist it around. A little bit more. There we go. So we've got two down and eight more to go. So I think it's looking much better, more elegant already. Um, but let me go ahead and wrap this up with the other ones and we will see how it looks. <laughs> So I've got the little dangly prisms on and I think it makes it look so much more expensive. I am very impressed with this, but one thing I did not anticipate would be that these little rings are very gold colored. So I may fix that in the future. I mean, we have a whole slew of these extra rings that came with it. Um, I'm not sure it's really gonna be that noticeable. It's probably I'm only gonna be the one that's ever gonna notice it. But I'm kind of thinking if I just take a little black marker, I can probably, yep, yeah, that's certainly an easy fix. We can just run the little black marker along the edge 
of each of these little rings. It's going to hide it, um, make it, you know, just blend in a little bit more into the background and so you don't see all of that shiny um, sort of gold color. In fact, uh, I'll do that now. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, simple marker, um, just dabbed it around each of the rings makes a world of difference because now, um, I mean, it's not perfect. You can still see the um, sort of brass color on the insides of the ring, but it's so very slight. I'm not worried about it. It really, it just takes the edge off of it because the light, when it shines down from, you know, above, you just really saw the brass on the top of the ring and the connectors. But now it just sort of fades into the background. Looks much, much better. All right. So let's go ahead now and put on the um, flower pieces and see how they look. So this just unscrews eventually. There we go. And it just goes right through the middle of here. I'm just putting it back on exactly how I took it off. And that just sort of wedges up in there. And then screw it back down. There we go. All right. I'm already seeing some problems, but we'll tackle them one at a time, huh? Okay. All right. I guess that's good enough for now. All right. I think the dangly bits, especially on the sides here, um, where it kind of interacts with the flowers. Um, now they're kind of lost. <laughs> so I can add um, another piece to make them dangle down just a little bit lower. So let's just see what that would look like if we had another one. All right. So I'm just going to take one of these. Uh, my fingers are all black from that marker. I was trying to be efficient and not go get a glove or something, so now I'll have black fingers for a while. But that was super easy to attach these little um, rings to the beads. So I'm going to now extend this one. Maybe. I have fat fingers. Okay. So we're just going to that in there. All right, so that makes it a little bit longer. It'll make the ones dangle down a little bit further there, and that's fine. And a little bit further there, which you probably can't see what I'm doing, um, which will go down just to the bottom of the, uh, the flowers. So I think that's what I want to do. <laughs> so um, going to have to uh, do this again. Okay, so now it is dangly again. Um, I put the one extra link in the higher up tiers. I left the smaller ones um, without the extra length just because I like the look that they're a little bit closer together. I did experiment with putting an extra one on, but it didn't need to dangle down that low. So the next thing I thought we would do is throw some extra stuff in here. I'm not sure that this is a good idea or not. But we'll give it a shot, see what happens. If we don't like it, the worst that can happen is we pull it right back out. So I take one of these dollar store rose bunches. I really like these. I get them every year. Um, this one has four roses in it. It's got a little stem with um, a spider on it and some little stick thingies. Um, and here's another one. So two spiders, four roses, a lot of bang for a dollar. So let's go ahead for a buck. I guess that would have been the really appropriate term. I'm just going to cut it apart. And I just realized I cut that way too long because um, I'm going to have to stick it in that foam 
All right, really needs to be about yay long. So let's try this again. Just good thing is if you mess up, again, it's a dollar, who cares? You just fix it. All right, now that styrofoam, oh, you can kind of hear it crunching in there. All right. Um, all right, so there we go. I'm just going to take one of these four or each of these four roses and stick it in between each of the top four tiers. They do not want to cut very well. All right, come on, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna do it real quick for us, probably adjust it later. Um, I just wanna get it going. All right, so I'm not even sure that this is a good idea, <laughs> but again, you know, it's something we can fix at a later time. You just experiment. If it doesn't look good, take it out. If we can get it cut. Come on. All right, this one's being stubborn. But we will get there. All right. All right, I'm sure these roses are a mistake. <laughs> it was a good idea in theory, um, but probably what I'm gonna need to do is pull out the whole thing and kind of work them into the arrangements if I plan to even keep them at all. I'm not sure, but just for the sake of argument, I'm gonna stick one more in there. Maybe, come on. All right, caught it. <laughs> this all right, okay, stick this last one in here. Oh goodness, did I cut this one too short? All right, so there we go. Got my four purple roses in there. Really, they should be mixed in with the black, but I kind of wanted to get to the point where I can put these little spider guys in here, maybe let them stick up. I was a little concerned about the top, um, just being so out there, maybe this can help um, visually reduce that. So I got a spider with some leaves. Maybe we can just have it stick up here somewhere. Obviously, if we're going to do this, oh, I kind of like that. It looks like the spider is standing right there on the top of the thing, the tier. If you're going to be putting this stuff in here you're gonna not use real candles which will be what we will be talking about here in a minute but let me get this last one in all right i suppose using something other than just regular scissors to cut these would be a better idea but again for our purposes it is what it is all right so this one i probably should have kept a little bit higher there we go so we have our candlestick. Now we have to figure out what to do for the candles. Um, I kind of pointed out in the other video, you know, usually with my candles, my big candlesticks, <laughs> I want to make um, these bleeding candles. It's a little too big and thick for our arrangement here. Um, so we have the dollar store candles that flicker, which I like the flickering, but again is also a little bit too big. They also have regular taper candles at the dollar store that you can get. They also flicker. It's unfortunate. It is also too tall. So once again, we are stuck with these smaller candles. They um, do not flicker. Um, let me find the one I was using earlier today. Oh, well, all right. A couple of options. Whoops, drop the base of this. Hold on one second. Okay. Um, so there's another one in here that lights up. I'm sure of it. <laughs> So this one, all right, it's very bright. So what I tried to do is um, knock that down just a little bit just by painting some um, red, well not painting, all I did was I took red marker and orange marker and even yellow highlighter and just sort of went over the bulb to try and give it more of a flame effect. I'm not sure how that looks at all. The best look would probably be just a real candle 
or even just not light the candles and let it just sit there. Um, but you can play around with it. What I did with this one too is rather than have a white candle, I wanted it black. So all I did was take my black marker and color it in. It kind of, um, I don't know, you probably can't see it too well in the video there, but it scratches kind of easy. But I only did one coat earlier. Um, but, you know, if it scratches up, you just take your black marker, you touch it up again, there you go, you're done. So, put that back, maybe, if I can find the right way. So, I can't decide if I want to use black candles, which I kind of like, or white candles. Um, at first I thought I would just stick with the white candles. Let's just go ahead and pop some in here so we can get an idea. I did not put batteries in all of these. They do take um, triple A batteries, which I wasn't prepared for when I picked them up today. So um, I don't have enough batteries for it, but you'll get the gist of it. All right, there we go. That is how it would look. So what do you think? Would you go with the white candle or would you go with black candles? Which kind of, I don't know, kind of blends all in. So at first I thought the black candle looked better, <laughs> but now I'm kind of leaning toward the white. So if I go with the white candle, do you think I should make it a bloody candle? Have a little blood effect like I do with like all of my candles these days? Let me know what you think. In fact, leave me a comment in the comment below. Tell me what you would do with the candles. But otherwise, that's it. I have turned my $3.93 candelabra into a much fancier looking, hopefully, hopefully fancier looking, more expensive candelabra um, using just, again, these chandelier prisms got from Amazon. 12 bucks, a dollar worth of dollar store roses, dollar store candles, but I really wanted to compare this to the candelabra that we saw in the at-home store, um, which I think I've done a good job sort of replicating that effect. Uh, and, you know, we get the added bonus of this um, floral bit. <laughs> so let me know, what do you think? Would you do this? Is it a fail <laughs> or, um, you know, do you like it? So all in all, this cost me about like 15 bucks, I think, more with the candles, but we would have had to pay that with the at-home store candelabra too. So 15 bucks compared to my $40 one, what do you think? So that's it for today. Stay tuned if you want to see some more DIYs and makeovers and so forth. Um, and until next time, guys, take care. Happy haunting.